John said, I'm leaving to be with Yoko. And Paul said, is this some kind of Joko? <laughs> yes. Paul McCartney settles the score on who broke up the Fab Four. In a BBC interview that will be broadcast next month that we won't be listening to, Paul McCartney pushes back on the narrative that he was the reason that the Beatles broke up more than 50 years ago. That's a long time. Saying the real reason was that John was making a new life with Yoko. Added Paul, John walked into a room one day and said, I'm leaving the Beatles. Is that instigating the split or not? Well, maybe that's how they wrote Hello Goodbye. <laughs> McCartney insisted that he has no hard feelings against Yoko and that she and John were a great couple. But he does hope to outlive Ringo. <laughs> That's a lie. But let's not forget that following Lennon's departure, the music took a noticeable turn. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. They were my right My theory, Tyrus, is like, okay, I believe that Lennon was right to get out then because if the Beatles had stuck around as a group, they would have put out lesser and lesser quality products and they'd be rich, but they'd be like U2. Like U2 should have stopped after Unforgettable Fire or maybe, what's the album with the flag? Joshua Tree? Joshua Tree. What's the, okay, maybe they did a lot, a lot of good albums. Theory is wrong. Aerosmith. <laughs> it's over. Aerosmith after Toys in the Attic. Wait a I minute. don't know. Wait, uh... I'm, I'm sorry, man, but yes. is, did anyone wake up this morning going, we've got to find out? <laughs> no, 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 kids, we're not going to school today. Daddy's got to know. <laughs> was it Ringo? Was it Yo-Yo? <laughs> was it John? <laughs> was it the man? And we already know it's Ringo. Yes. <laughs> Ringo did it. Yes. He was the one going back and forth, telling each guy he was better than he really was. And he was like, man, if Paul, if you were in charge, man, I'd get more drum solos. And then he would go to John and be like, hey, Paul said I could get more drum solos if you sang less. So we know who did it. We know who did it. It was Ringo's punk ass who did it. He, he broke the team up. Ah. That's a, you know what, I did, I, that's the first time I've ever heard anybody blame Ringo. <laughs> he was in a great movie called Caveman. I don't know if anybody saw yeah, that. I, I had I a bird that. named Ringo. I was a huge Beatles fan growing up, and I don't really know why. And then Ringo ruined but, it. <laughs> and then, but I had a bird named Ringo that my mom made me get, give away. Oh. And so but Ringo I got a let dog. You down. Ringo let you <laughs> down. He's been doing it Never from name the beginning. But you shouldn't Ringo. apologize for being a Beatles fan. It's one of the greatest. No, so I know, but it's so funny because my parents never listened to the Beatles that much, and I just found them, and they are one of the greatest musical acts of all times, obviously. And so I love them, but. Um, I saw somebody, this is not my idea, I saw somebody post online earlier, Yoko Ono was to the Beatles what Meghan Markle is to the royal family. Ooh. Oh, That's right. not mine, and I'm not saying that. I'm just throwing it out there. But we just asking yeah, questions. But that, that implies that <laughs> wow. the G Prince Harry has talent. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? Buck, you know what's funny to me is that when I was growing up, the Beatles were the good band and the Rolling Stones was the scary band and that surely the Rolling Stones would be the one that would disintegrate, you know, because they were the bad boys. And the, here you are. It's like 60 years the Stones have been around. Right. Clearly the Beatles had great hairstyles, so we could start with that. And yes. beyond that, I would say... Are you saying that because your hair looks like a... I mean, this guy looks like he's, you know, well, McCartney on the far right there. I think he's got a good quaff. But I will say this. Am I the only person up here who thinks the Beatles are a little overrated? Yeah. Let's just take this for a second. Yeah. Let's just take this for a second. No, but they you changed the music. This is awesome. Oh, I, take. I, I, so I, many people have said that. Oh, the Beatles aren't even good. You're like, I'm going to come on the show and be a badass. Uh, I, I didn't know. The Beatles no, aren't I, even I, good. I'm going to be so cool. I'm too cool for the Beatles. Let's see what Oh, you've got box I didn't sexton. say <laughs> <laughs> I just said they're a little overrated. I know. I'd I didn't love say they're to hear, bad. I'd love to hear an album from you. <laughs> you and Clay Travis, work I mean, on it. <laughs> Clay Beatles aren't even good. It's the Beatles. Music, I will have you know. And I get to see, but this is, this is it. it's the propaganda. It's yes. big music. They're telling you you have to like it's your point, by the way. Do we even care why they broke up at this point? No, we do they not. They broke up. They broke like, up. No one really cares. Hey, mom and dad, why'd you I'm guys get a divorce? You, question, you want the truth? That, Tim? What, was the last time, what was the last time you listened to a song by the Beatles on Spotify? Do not lie. I did it on vinyl on Sunday. Mm. Yeah! Oh.
There you go. You on vinyl? Yesterday. I yes. am choking on the pretension right now. No oh, one I, actually has oh. vinyl. Is it pretension or do I actually know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so wait. Ringo did it. <laughs> Kat, wait. <laughs> Kat, isn't this the bigger story is that no matter how well you get along in a band, no matter what, you end up hating each other. Is that yes. kind of how it happens? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Too much time together. If only there was a TV show that I could re reference about yeah. that, but I won't. <laughs> no. We'll never break up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The answer to my question is, I am the only person who thinks they're overrated. Yeah, no, no, I'm amazing. with you. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a Stones guy, Led Zeppelin guy. I'm not a big Beatle guy. Their song, you could be all Tyrus. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. just the, the hairdos, the, the bowl cut. The Beatles did, did some really interesting things. There's a, and they, they created basic, they basically created yeah, they, psychedelic they music. Yeah, they changed music forever, but that's yeah. not enough for Buck Sexton. Over yeah. <laughs> what do you listen to in your shag wagon? Kesha? Your shagging wagon. Whoa. <laughs> I told you Kesha? about Kesha as a friend. You are not supposed you to tell people. You listen to Kesha. You're not supposed to tell people about <laughs> who you are you, and ladies Kesha. and gentlemen. I know this is gotten this is crazy. Here. You I threw him under the here. Kesha bus and you backed it up on him. The, the B sides of Lady Gaga are something that all red-blooded Americans. But I think we can all end this right. segment on one thing: Ringo did, did it. it. Yes, Ringo right. did, did it. it. Hashtag. We must move on. That hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.